Wassail! Welcome to Rune Revival. If you want to learn how to write modern English in runes fast, this is your crash course. Leave questions below. Pharaoh says f, as in fat, fool, or photography, or at the end of words like leaf and enough. The rune ur is a vow. Vows are hard because English is like that. To stay consistent across dialects, we use fixed keywords for vowels. For ur, those four keywords are foot, courier, goose, and cure. The second and fourth of those are the first and third, followed by er, respectively. Thorn makes the soft th sound as in thigh or teeth, or the hard th sound as in thy father or feather. Ors is a vowel. Its four keywords are lot, tomorrow, thought, and north. Rad says er, as in ran, run, practice, probably, and Christmas. It's doubled after first form vowels to distinguish words like Mary from the lady's name Mary. Chen says ch, as in teacher, nature, or cheap beach chairs. Yivu makes the j sound, as in ginger, magi, edge, or jeep. In modern English, the rune win is always followed by a vowel. Win says w, as in wine, one, swing, or twenty. Hail says h, as in high, hats, ham, hedge, or hands. Need makes the n sound, as in tin, thin, no, nothing, dinner, and dining. Ease is a vowel with only two forms. Its keywords are kit and mirror. The rune ye is only used at the start of a root word. It makes the y sound, as in yellow, yes, unique, and barnyard. Eo is a vowel. Its keyword reference points are the last vowel in happy, the first vowel in arrays, fleece, and weir. Peod says p, as in pig pen, pit bull, spinning top, and tip. Elks makes the z sound, as in zap, zoo, peas, and roses. Seal says s, as in sap, sea, city, and peace. Tear says t, as in tin, buttered toast, two white hearts, and bet. Bjork says b, as in blue, beauty, bunny rabbit, bitcoin, and web. E is a vowel. Its four key words are dress, merry, mare, in its non rhotic pronunciation, and square. Man, or man, makes the m sound, as in music, man, map, lamb, and hammer. Lagu makes either the clear l sound or the dark u sound, as in left, please, bell, and purple. Ing makes the ng sound, as in ring, singing, finger, or a pink drink. Day says d, as in dad and daughter, odd, dude, dining, and dish. Ethel is a vowel. Its four key words are comma, array, d'oeuvre, as in hors d'oeuvres and nurse. Ark is a vowel. Its four key words are strut, murray, the first vowel in father, and start. Ash is a vowel. Its four key words are trap, marry, bath, and arm. Hour is a sliding vowel, so it only exists in forms three and four. Its key words are mouth and hour, as in an hour on the clock. The rune your is tricky. It represents a sound which shifts between a consonant and a vowel depending on a variety of factors. After a consonant, it represents a yod, as in the words view, beauty, cute, volume, fjord, canyon, brilliant, billion, onion, menu, mute, pew, matthew, and annual. After a vowel, it denotes that the prior vowel slides towards the sound of this rune. Its most common uses are in the third form keywords choice, price, and face, and their fourth form equivalents coir, mare, and fire. The rune er is the third and fourth form equivalent of the rune is. 
Its keywords are vehement and near. Queos makes the qu sound, as in quick, queen, liquid, awkward, and inkwell. Calc says k, as in cat, kitten, crab, cut, kill, and skull. Stan says st, as in stop resting, toast, and stingray. The last rune in the Anglo-Saxon rune row is gar. It makes the g sound, as in go, get, gut, eggs, and beggar. However, there is also this traditionally unnamed character we're going to call Yoga. Today, it makes the sound the Scots use at the end of loch. You may also hear it in foreign names like Ahmed. Finally, there are four common digraphs you should know. Seal chain is an ancient digraph for the sh sound, as in show or fish. Building on that, Elk's chain makes the j sound, as in rouge or version. Thirdly, historically, the rune feo also made the v sound. But to avoid confusion in modern English for talk, we use double veo for v in words like that, voice, vehicle, and nerve. Fourth is the os ur digraph. This digraph represents a sliding vowel, so, like our, it only exists in the third and fourth forms. Its keywords are goat and boas. Note how, because its second rune is ur, it can also carry a what glide on the end of it, as in lower. That's all the main sounds covered. Now, what do you do if the vowels in two keywords sound the same? First, ask yourself, is this sound at the start of a root word? If yes, then rank the forms as 2, 1, 3, 4. If no, then rank them as 1, 3, 4, 2. Then ask, of the key words that sound the same, which one's form is ranked highest? If their forms are different, use the form that is ranked highest. If their forms are the same, then ask yourself, do either of the keywords use the rune er? If yes, we'll come back to that in a moment. If no, then rank the remaining runes as Ethel, Is, Your, Eo, E, Os, Our, Ur, Ark, Ash. Then ask, of those ten vowels, which keyword uses the highest ranked rune? In general, Use that keyword and write the sound using that rune or digraph. But, to make reading and writing less confusing, there are some special digraphs for writers whose accents have certain merges. So, if any of these words sound the same to you, use the digraph shown on screen for them. You'll notice that there is a special digraph for those who merge the price and choice vowels. If you instead merge the price and face vowels, all of you are merging face into the price vowel. So this is an exception where ash your outranks e your. As for the rune er, in form 4 it ranks immediately above eo. However, in form 3, it ranks immediately below EO. That's all the vowel mergers covered. One last point in regards to them. If you say two form 1 vowels the same, then whichever form 1 rune you're not using, you don't need to double that rune when writing a form 3 vowel. For example, if you say happy with the kit vowel, then you can write fleece with a single EO. You don't need to double it. Or if you say trap with the dress vowel, then you can write bath with a single ash. Now here are six common vowel splits. They don't affect most speakers, but take a quick look at them in case any of them apply to you. Using the digraphs shown for the split form is optional, but it may come in handy if your accent has some particular need for it. Finally, syllabic consonants are allowed for rad, lagu, man, and need, as in the keyword letter, 
as well as usable, rhythm, and button. However, man and need cannot be used syllabically following rad, lagu, your, or any vowel except ethyl. If they sound like they are, you're probably using a soft comma vowel before them, so write ethyl in that place. The only other rule to remember is that when creating a compound word or adding a prefix, it's okay for consonant runes to be doubled. Here are some examples. As this is a crash course, for the most part this video has not discussed bind runes. A bind rune appears where two or more runes are joined together so that they look like a single glyph. If you want another video on them, leave a comment. While you're waiting, you can download some fonts from our website and try experimenting with their bind runes. Thanks for watching.